Hello! Since today is Batman Day, September 16th, 2023, I figured we'd go through my entire collection of everything Batman-related that I have. Um, I'll go through my comic books real quick, but I'm not gonna pull out every single one, but we'll go through uh, the action figures that I have, the movies that I have, and pretty much everything in between. So anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? So to start off, I figured we just might as well go through this first. I got this uh, pretty decent sized poster of BVS and then this uh, cutout of uh, Batman and his rogues gallery, which is pretty cool. And then I got a Joker up there, Batman, a Scarecrow, Two-Face, Harvey Dent, different version of Two-Face, Joker, and Batman. And then on this side right behind me, I also have uh, the Joker from uh, DC Direct, uh, The Dark Knight, which is really cool to have within my collection. And now we are going to go through the movies. And before we go through the movies, I figured I'd just show this. I got the Penguin from uh, The Batman Show, uh, Two-Face from Batman Forever, a Batman action figure, and encyclopedia of Batman of visual history. And then we got Batman The Ultimate Guide New Edition, and then Batman The Dailies, which is just a bunch of uh, like daily newspaper uh, stories all together. But now if we come up here, this is where I keep all, uh, well, most of my DC stuff. So let's go through it. First one that we got is Batman 89 on 4K, which I'm very happy to have that on 4K. Batman Returns on 4K. Sadly, I did buy these off Amazon, and the only one that didn't have a slipcover was Batman 89. Batman Forever. Batman and Robin. Then I bought these off Amazon as well, so we got Batman Begins on 4K. The Dark Knight. Dark Knight Rises. I do count this in as a, as well. So we got uh, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. And he was in both versions of this. So we got Justice League, the J Joss Whedon cut. And then uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. And then this is a big part of uh, Batman-related stuff. So we got the Flash movie. There we go. Joker. And of course, the Batman. Duh. Da, 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 da. Then if we come over here, I got uh, Batman Begins on DVD, and then I got um, Batman the Movie from 1966, and then a few of the DVDs, a few figures right there. But if we come in here, so once you come over here, we've got Batman the Complete Animated Series on uh, Blu-ray. I mean, if you're a fan of Batman, you've got to have this within your collection. I mean, how can you not... And then we also have uh, Batman 66, uh, the complete series, which, I mean, this is so cool to have. I remember they didn't really have this uh, on any physical media while I was growing up, so now that I got it all, I'm very happy about that. I do have all of Gotham, but this is just the final season, but it's cool to have that within the collection. And then we got Batman Beyond, the complete series. The Batman, which is a very underrated show. I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, definitely give it a watch. And now, let me just move this right up here. There we go. We got Batman Brave and the Bold, the complete first season. And then if we scan a little bit, we got Batman Ninja. Batman the Dark Knight Returns Part 1. Batman the Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Batman Year 1, uh, 4K Ultra HD. I mean, he has a pretty big role in that. So, the Flashpoint Paradox, Son of Batman, Batman Assault on Arkham, Batman vs. Robin, Batman Bad Blood, Batman the Killing Joke, Batman and Harley Quinn, Batman Gotham by Gaslight, Batman Hush, whoops. Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Batman Soul of the Dragon. Batman the Long Halloween Part 1. Batman the Long Halloween Part 2. Uh, Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons. Then if we come down here, let me just move those out of the way. We got Batman the Doom that came to Gotham. Batman Death in the Family, an interactive movie. The Lego Batman movie. Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders. Batman vs. Two-Face. A four-pack of all the uh, Blu-ray films from uh, Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher. Batman and Robin, the serials. 
Gotham. Then if we go through all this too, that's all the animated stuff I have for Batman related stuff. Then if we come down here, gotta have this within the collection, Batman vs. Dracula. Then we got uh, Beware the Batman um, Season 1 Part 1. Then we got Season 1 Part 2. And then of course, uh, we got Batman Gotham uh, Night, which is pretty much just a bunch of short films. It's pretty fun. Then we got um, Batman Under the Red Hood, which is arguably one of the best uh, animated Batman movies ever made. And I do own um, Mask of the Phantasm slash um, uh, Sub-Zero, but that's actually within uh, the complete series right here. But now let's go take a look at the comic books. As you can see, I've been adding a few new ones, too. I got a few novels, uh, novelizations. We got Batman Returns, then we got Batman Forever right there. And then I got this uh, graphic novel collection, Batman Damned. And then, got some more comic books as well, which is pretty much just a little bit of everything, but do have the complete Nightfall Saga now, so I'm looking forward to reading that. I'm currently reading uh, Batman the New 52, and I am currently on volume seven because the next volume that i'm going on is uh batman volume eight super heavy and i have the complete run of uh new 52 batman and uh, after that i'll probably read through the um the one from uh rebirth and then work my way through all of it but i do have plenty of reading in store for me for the bat family but anyway that's everything graphic novel related that i have but i do have a uh, this pretty cool signature since it is related to it because it's from uh, under the red hood i need to buy a frame for it but it says to matthew yours and just uh jean dimaggio aka the joker from under the red hood so that is really cool as well and I just wanted to show off that awesome poster that I have, too. I bought it at a Comic-Con. As you could see, we got um, Michael Keaton's Batman, Jack Nicholson's Joker, Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman, and Mike and um, Danny DeVito's Penguin. And honestly, it's just it's so cool to have within the collection. Then I have a Two-Face figure from Batman 66. And then quite a few Joker figures down there, followed by a Blight and Lex Luthor. But anyway, Batman. So, this probably didn't even cover everything that I have, but I feel like it did cover, actually, like, a good amount. But for Batman Day, I ended up going to see The Dark Knight again in theaters. After 15 years, I finally got to see it in theaters again, so that was really cool. My local AMC was doing a, um, thing for Batman Day. They were playing all three of them, but I only had the time to see The Dark Knight. But that was really cool, and nonetheless, it was so cool to see it again in theaters. But anyway, thanks for watching. As always, if you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply. As of now, I have a video request and that is being made but since it was batman day i felt like i should get this video out because i mean come on it's batman day and if you ended up doing anything for batman day let me know uh, what you ended up doing down in the comments below and let me know what your all-time favorite movie from batman is down in the comments below as well but anyway thanks for watching as always and i'll see all of you in the next video bye yeah